Jeremy Lin, and you hear a pretty big ovation. We saw last night in Boston, Jeremy Lin was the first point guard off the bench, played in the first half. Tony Douglas sat. But in the second half, Mike D'Antoni went with Tony Douglas, and Lin did not play. Shot clock down to seven already. That's haven't turned it over yet. Fields, pull up jumper. Gets it to go. Jeffries wisely took his hand away. Jeremy Lin drives and finishes. Nice play from Lin. Here's the strip, and it, Lin throws it ahead to Tony Douglas. Up for the layup, banks it in. There's a little spark you talked about, Clyde. Yeah, Lin provided impetus. Together. And they're not communicating. There's a good hands by Lin. The strip, Douglas, the recipient. But then Williams has been able to get inside. The pass in the lower defensive box. The restricted area is negated. Nice feed inside. Lynn to Jeffries. And once again, trying to play a little two-man game. Backs it in. Nice play with Chandler. Taken away by Chandler. Here comes Shepard to Lynn. Lynn flips it up and puts it in. Jeremy Lynn once again. He has been a surprise in the first half. Swoops and hoops again. And then check. There's Lynn. Just active and aggressive. Alley up to Chandler. Oh, beautiful pass from Lynn. And Jeremy Lynn continues to excite this crowd. A beautiful pass. It was. Good ESP with Chandler and Lynn. Chandler, four of five from the field. He comes in shooting 71% from the field. Nine points, seven rebounds, couple of assists. All called more. That's I think the players would stop doing it if it was called more. Alley up to Chandler. Jeremy Lin flips it up again, and Chandler throwing it down. Fight out of Harvard, showing much sagacity now with his dishing. Chandler. <laughs> Lynn and the uh, bench play in that second quarter. That was just the up tempo, pressure, driving to the basket, does it again. And a chance for a three point play as he got hit. He's yeah. already played more minutes tonight than in any other game. Yeah, watch the acceleration right here by Lynn. Good acceleration right there to get to the basket, holding the ball up high and able to finish. A shot. Jeremy Lynn right now looks absolutely spent. Bumped by Petro, gets to the rim, count it, and a foul. Obviously not completely spent as a strong drive to the basket and a chance for a three-point play. Just when you thought that that set figured him out, keeping him on the perimeter and allowing him to swoop to the hoop again. So the last two times he's been very successful. And Jeffries as well. You won't see that in the stat sheet by Jeffries. You mentioned the intangibles that he brings to a game. Jeremy Lynn knocks it down. Career high 15. And the Knicks take the lead. And that's Lynn's first perimeter shot. Been misfiring woefully from the field, but finding a range that time is straight on with two. Perhaps the most unlikeliest Nick to be the hero. What a story here tonight at the Garden. Jeremy Lynn, a huge spark in a game. The Knicks are desperate for a victory. And he has played perhaps the best game of his brief NBA career. About the three. Shot clock at seven. Now trying to pick and roll. Lynn looking, gets it inside to Jeffries. Jeffries reverse, he puts it in. Lynn looking to penetrate, pull up jump shot. It's gone. Jeremy Lynn continues his magical night. He's got 17. Lynn on the drive. Inside to Stoudemire. Stoudemire lays it in. Lynn's penetration, his seventh assist. Yeah, continues to penetrate and create. This time for Stat with the five-footer. Anthony now three for 14. Lynn to the basket, reverse layup, he cuts it in. Oh, what a play for Jeremy Lynn. Zigzagging his way through the zone and the reverse layup. Let us show you why and how zigzag reverse off the glass. Yeah, winning and grinning. <laughs> and the chance of Jeremy now thundering down from the sellout crowd. We've been hearing it from the crowd. 
Little fancy shot clock at eight. Splits the defense again. Gets to the rim. Pucks it in. And a foul. Wow. Jeremy Lin does it again. A swirly dervish. Penetrating, manipulating, devastating the net. Watch this. Slicing, dicing right there. Swooping, hooping. And the crowd on their feet paying homage to this man. But even it looks like his teammates don't believe what they're seeing. <laughs> yeah, jubilation, jubilation for Lynch. And the Knicks. 22 points, make it 23. Swoops to the Knicks. Showing a nice repertoire. Acceleration, determination getting inside and finishing. And then when they denied the penetration, he found the perimeter shot as well remaining in the third and he has not sat down he's played the rest of the way again the crossover the basket puts it up puts it in Jeremy Lin with 25 a magical night for Jeremy Lin he's the hero from Harvard as the Knicks get a much needed victory on the game of his life and he is Swarmed by his ecstatic teammates and a jubilant crowd here at Madison Square Garden. Mike, thank you. Jeremy, career highs across the board. New York in Madison Square Garden, chanting your name. Put this in perspective for us. Where does this game rank in your basketball career? It's right there at the top. Um, I'm just thankful to God for this opportunity to be able to come out here and play with this team and this organization. particular night the storybook game he was magnificent and though you don't expect him to have 25 and 7 and 5 every single night not even near that you just hope from a Knicks standpoint that he can run the offense as well as he ran it on Saturday right just keep dishing keep breaking down the defense and I'm sure that's why coach Ben Tony started him yeah, he's, he's probably been seeing this kid work in practice, like what he saw, think that he could do it in the game, and thus far he has. Well, Mike D'Antoni said the reason he started him, he felt there'd be less pressure starting him. Say the Knicks fell behind by five or six points in the first quarter. Now he comes off the bench. Now it's like, oh, here comes the savior. He's going to do it again, as opposed to now, instead of him being an isolated guy coming off the bench, he's just one of five to start the game. And... And what a humble kid, Mike. He, he seems embarrassed by all the attention. You Given said it was the, overwhelming. Right, giving all the credit to the team. So you like to see that in a young man. But obviously a lot of pressure on him now. Uh, expectations brings pressure. And then the opposition, I'm sure they talked about Lynn and how to prevent him from being a catalyst tonight. Well, between... This is the only meeting between the two. The Knicks will not play in Salt Lake City this year. Fields, hop step, inside, dumps it in. No sap, double team, knocked away. And in the front court finds Fields. Fields on the drive, gets to the rim, and puts it in. Nice drives from Fields here in the first period. Watson, a good, tough backup point guard. Lynn gets around Jefferson, looking, and backs it in. Kept his dribble. He had a couple of those the other night. And the Knicks go up by three. Very persistent is Lynn. At that time, good perseverance along the baseline. Haywood poked away by Jeffries. Here comes Fields. Fields to Lynn. Lynn reverse, backs it in. Jared Jeffries started it down the other end. And Lynn with his second field goal. Knicks on a 6 0. This is what he likes to do. Petrina penetrate. Right there. No one denies his foray along the baseline. Good swoop in oop. And, and then the steal. Fields to Lynn. The crowd likes what they see to us. Weeks up. Still, Knicks managed to get off a beautiful alley oop there to Chandler. As they've scored eight in a row. Lynn to Chandler. And Chandler backs it in. Nope, they're going to wave it off. Lynn on the drive. Alley up to Jeffries and misses another, but tipped up and in. Lynn's made two beautiful passes to Jeffries, who's playing a terrific game. He just can't get the ball to go in the best starters. 13 to 7. 
Lynn pass inside to Chandler. Chandler fouled. Lynn should have four assists. The Knicks have blown three laps in that one where Chandler got fouled. This is the kid's game, folks. Watch this. He's learning. You see right there? Delayed effort. Taking his time. Let the play develop. Chandler is the recipient. And keeping his head up and seeing the force with Jeremy Lynn. Chandler said at one point he was defending the pick and roll. Finds Chandler again and lays it in. Chandler said at one time they were looking to defend a pick and roll and Lynn said, I got him, I got him, don't worry. And he'd love to see that. It just, he's talking out there. You can see him now. He's going to be taking Lynn out to dinner soon. <laughs> Lynn with the deflection and the steal. Lobs to Chandler and the finish. Jeremy Lynn picking up where he left off. And the Knicks go up by eight. I know he has a dinner coming now. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure, but then when you can overcome all of that and become a champion. Lynn backs it in, and a foul. Attacks the glass, gets hit, and a chance for a three-point play. The Utah foul is on his captain, his first, and the team's fourth. They let the kid go to his right. It's going to continue to create havoc. So, right there, breaking down the D's. Very strong first step and finishing off the ball. Were you talking about that first step as he hits the free throw? He's plain and simple. He's very tough to stay in front of. All right, you got to give him an extra step to make sure you keep him in front of him. Harris forcing him left now. Got to take away his strength. Fields on the drive, gets to the basket, and lays that one in. That's his third nice drive to the hoop. Lynn deflects it and comes up with a steal. Fields, Lynn for three. Oh, this play with them after the death of his brother from the car accident early this morning. No doubt. Knocks down the shot off the dribble. Look at Lynn directing players on the court. Quarterbacking the team now. None of it that time. Jeremy Lynn on the drive, right to the basket. Got a, as you said, Clyde, such a quick first step. Yep. Very nice career, Clyde. A guy that wasn't drafted. Started off in the CBA. Now he's in his 12th year in the league. Lynn, drive, shot won't go. Battle for the rebound. Millsap. Looked like there was contact. Not and a steal. Lynn stays with the play. I think it was Lynn, not Shumpert. Novak for three. Puts it in. And Lynn pumps his fist. A little smile. The Knicks up by 14. Jeremy Lynn continues his fine play, Clyde. Yep, shrewd, clever, slick. Watch him see an opening right there. No one protecting the basket. And then, then Novak, after the steal, Lynn finds him on the elbow. Clyde, the Knicks, nine steals in the first half. Right lead, second quarter. He's played, they're back. Lynn, that's inside. Back to Jeffries. Another assist for Jeremy Lynn, and Jared Jeffries this time able to finish. Lynn to Novak. Novak, nice fake. Off the dribble. Shot's good. He is a pure shooter. If he gets in rhythm, gets some playing time. I mean, we, uh, T's always as poorly as they play. Lynn splits the defense, goes inside. Kicks out the pass. Novak again. It's good. Three-pointer for Novak as Lynn kicks it out. Novak percolating. Devastating from downtown. Uh, you see the big bench trying to get free. Jazz were coming within 10 before oh, getting time to hoop. Year. Other than that, he's played on so many bad teams. And then last year they thought he was finally going to get back in the playoffs again, and they collapsed as Novak hits a three from way downtown. Novak continues his hot shooting, 16 points. So Harris has done a good job on Lynn. Looks that crossover move back to Jeffries. Lynn with a jump shot, knocks it down. 11 points, 8 assists for Jeremy Lynn. Lynn splits the defenders, gets inside, lefty layup, puts it in. Sensational move from Jeremy Lynn. And the crowd all fired up again. That was uncanny, y'all. He manipulated between the guys. Mesmerizing penetration and his scoop off the glass. That got the crowd involved. So nice. We'll show it twice. First basket wins. Dutch contestants. Energizing Nick Vince with his. 
Finds Lynn. Lynn pushing ahead to Shepard. Back to Lynn. Lynn gets hit. Puts it in. And a foul. Great extra pass for Shepard. And Lynn with a chance for a three-point play. They're on their feet. <laughs> Lynn. Lynn does it again. <laughs> Watch, he's going to almost get decapitated here with the foul. Well, he had 25 on Saturday to go with seven assists. He's got 18 points and eight assists tonight, including a new career high in assists. Lynn gets inside again and gets the layup. He's got like a, a hesitation move, Clyde, when he goes to the basket. Head up and keeping his dribble alive. Lynn on the drive, flips it up, banks it in, and a foul! Reverse layup, but a chance for a three-point play! The Super Bowl champion Giants fired up, and the Knicks up by nine! But watch how he does this. Look like he's going to shoot it left-handed. This swoops to the other side off the glass. This kid is a lot stronger than he looks. A 10-point lead. 23 points, 8 assists for Jeremy Lin. He's doing it again. Spectacular performance, Clyde. Yeah, watch the continuity, the spontaneity, and the finish. Spinning and winning. The bench exhilarated. Looking to take Rajah Bell, drives on him. Inside, Lee flips it up. Chandler keeps it alive. Lin has to put it up. Bang! A three-pointer as the shot clock expired. Chandler kept it alive. And the Knicks back up by nine. He's just going to be standing there. The ball is going to come right out to him. <laughs> and there it goes. The magic of Jeremy Lin continues here at Madison Square Garden. And he is loving every second of it. Already his t-shirt's being made. <laughs> With his second consecutive career night. He is the new starting point guard of the Knicks. He had 32 points all season until the last two games when he's at 53 combined. And the Knicks win again. A standing ovation for Jeremy Lin and the Knickerbockers. Here's Jeremy Lin for Jared Jeffries with a nice pass for Tyson Chandler. Lin, good pass for Walker, drains a three. Heels that create a lot of spacing and an opening for that shot by Booker. Coming off 19 points against Toronto the other night, Chandler easily on the pick and roll. Well, the Wizards. Had a tough time defending the pick and roll in Toronto last Friday night. Fully up high, can't get the rebound. And Lynn resets. Novak's jumper good. Fields drives, shoots it up and scores. Heck of a shot by Landry Field. Six to shoot. Crawford's going to have to make something happen. And he does. It's called a turnover. Lynn the other way. Drives and scores. Lynn around the Chandler screen. Cross court Walker driving on Mo Evans and scores. With Wall leading the way, and they like the way yeah. Vesley runs the court with him. And, and we talked about how he makes things happen on the defensive end, too. Nice move there by Lynn. I mean, it was kind of a hesitation move. Then he saw the opening. That's why you, as a guard, so important to keep your dribble alive. So watch this drive by Jeremy. He just kind of hesitates, keeps that dribble alive, and you can see that uh, JaVale gets screened out. He sees the opening, makes his move. Chandler back in for the Knicks. Along with Lynn Shumpert. Cross court for Novak. His three-pointer is good. 
Monday night against Toronto. He was really had his shoot game going. Shot 10 of 19 at 31 points as Lynn drives on McGee and scores. In the opposite direction, Fields pulls it out. Novak left alone for three. Lynn, screen from Chandler. Novak works free on a pump fake and hits another. Washington turnover so far has led to 12 New York points. Make it 14. And that's the kind of bounce pass we're talking about. Heads up play. That pass from Lynn off the dribble, really. His eighth assist of the game to go along with six points and a couple of rebounds. He's about scored the Wizards seven to nothing. A beautiful pass from Jeremy Lynn. Six to shoot. Lynn around the screen by Jeffries now pulls up for the jump shot. Got it off the glass. And Booker made it all through that shit on the elbow as he went for that dunk. Look at this shot by Lynn. Does he mean for it to? He has to shoot it up higher. And that goes off the glass. Washington not able to convert that fast break. Now Lynn off the glass. Pretty soft shot. Unlike that play there, Washington was not able to contain. And, and that's what you're talking about trying to do on the pick and roll. Contain. Take away certain options. But if you let that guard come off there and have an angle to either pass or drive, uh, you know, you're really going to be at a, at a loss. Got his degree in economics from Harvard. In high school at Palo Alto High School yeah. in California. Wonder he didn't go make that block from behind. Watch here. There's the step. So John's going to try and make the block. Good pump fake inside by Lynn. John Wall actually the top blocking guard in the league. Lynn from long range, in and out, followed by Fields. But with this lineup. And Anthony. Well, Washington has their defense kind of spread out. This missed shot goes up high. And Third quarter, Steve Buckhans, Phil Chenier, Chris Miller. Lynn, reverse layup for beauty. The John's going to have to work lead. Knicks have beaten the Wizards seven straight times. Nobody stopping Jeremy Lin on that play. You can see him say, let's go. Yeah. In the basket, nobody checking this one. Pretty play by Jeremy Lin. He's been able to penetrate on this Washington team. Well, that's that's just that's uncalled for there. I mean, you just can't have that. You had four players watching him get all the way to the rim. That's from the top of the key. Lynn has Lynn lays it up and in. Once again, we keep talking about the fact that he keeps that dribble alive, yeah. and even though he nearly got it stolen from behind, he was able to maintain possession. And then find an opening between the def defenders. After losing 11 of 13. Lynn, nice pass, Chandler. Trevor Booker hobbling as he goes down court on that left foot. New York, we're hearing that the, they like the way he runs the pick and roll. And he's been able to execute that. You saw the Tyson Chandler basket at the last one. Wow, Steve Novak after burning this team. Beautifully done. Lynn to Chandler to Fields. Timeout Whitman. They're looking for Chandler, but Lynn gets it anyway. And the Wizards never inbounded the ball. Well, that's a smart play by Lynn. He's almost looking off 
the defender towards Chain Detroit. Then to the West Coast, Portland, L.A. against the Clippers, Utah, and Phoenix. Lynn makes one of two. 23 points, nine assists, four rebounds off his 28-point game, a career high. Crawford. Mentioned the Miami Heat. They are trailing Orlando 92 to 80 with four minutes to go in their game in Orlando. While New York gets two more and they have seen the game for New York and Lynn gets the rest of the night off with 23 points and 10 assists. Our Crop Metcalf player of the game. Three 20 point games all resulting in wins. Only won their third straight game but beaten the Wizards for the eighth consecutive time. And Jeremy Lynn did in fact run the show. 23 points with 10 assists and four rebounds. My job, I didn't even know if I was gonna have a roster spot. And now, Mike, he's the toast of New York. In a word, he said overwhelming is what this past week has been like. He said, my parents and I were kind of low-key people. Now Lost it, got it back. Here again, you see the difference with the size of the Laker front line when he penetrates. Lynn shot, knocks it down, a three-pointer. Well, you can see why he he can keep his dribble. He dribbles so. Well, they're going to have trouble all night long, and the key is Chandler must stay out of foul trouble. Chandler spinning inside, puts it up and puts it in. Chandler having one of his best seasons, leading the NBA in field goal percentage. College and in the D-League. He's got a nice form, Yubi. Well, it, now the Lakers have got to explode on, on Gasol. Good nice. fade ahead, and Chandler throws it down. There's Jeremy Lin with that court vision. Remember what I said, Mike. Chandler comes away with it. Walker, a good solid rebounder for a wing player. Lin puts it up, puts it in. Jeremy Lin off to a terrific start. Seven points and two assists. Right now, Fisher is being exploited because he's playing him soft. This is what I like. I like this. Lynn picks it up. Lynn drives in and lays it in. That was excellent defense. Anytime you get an opportunity to trap the Lakers, trap them. Get out in the open floor. And listen to this garden crowd on this 10-0 run. I wish that uh, people would also give a lot of the other players on this team a lot more credit. I think there's uh, too much attention coming my way. and. I mean, you have Tyson, who's been playing like an all-star all year, and you have you know guys like Shump and, and Landry, who play the unbelievable defense, move the ball. I mean, what's happening right now is a lot bigger than just you know one person. And I think that's what I think uh, I wish we would start to talk about more. 31 minutes after missing those 13, you. They need him, Mike. They need him. They need the ball handling and the penetration and the three-point shooting. Jared Jeffries knocks down a jumper. As they started off one of 13 from the field. But after one here at the guard, Knicks 22 and the Lakers 15. Garden where the Lakers trail the Knicks by seven. Mike, we talked about Jeremy Lin before the game. You said you didn't know much about him other than a little bit of film. What was he doing that was giving you guys problems in that first quarter? Uh, he did a nice job knocking down jump shots. He came off the pick and roll. And uh, we went under the pick and roll like we told our guys to see if he could shoot. And uh, he knocked down some shots. You guys shot just 22 percent in that first quarter. What was not working? I, I thought we had some good looks. You know, uh, we haven't shot the ball that well from the perimeter all year. And so we just got to keep sustaining. It's a long basketball game. And, and uh, we'll see as, as we go along if we can shoot a little bit better. Well, it, you know, it will give his development. He'll get there quicker. Knocks it down and a foul. They put a body that time. And Lynn with a chance for a three-point play. I don't think he's three and 200 pounds. He can take the hits without losing control of either the shot or the pass. The lob passes in the paint or the passes to the three-point shooters in the corner. Because you know it's almost impossible to stop the big three. Chandler gets it in on a nice feed from Jeremy Lynn. Clearly on the line. Lynn with five assists. Tough turnaround shot. Gets to the go. 16 points for Lynn. That's when we talk about high IQ. When he dribbled left and went down in there. Right. Quick jump shot short. Jeremy Lynn the rebound. Give him those jump shots. Just don't let him put it down on the floor. Lynn likes the open floor. Spinning. Puts it up and oh, banks it in. Yes. Sensational play for Jeremy Lynn.
And he's he's starting enjoying. proud on its feet again. Mike, he's really enjoying it. You can see the smile on his face because he almost, now keep an eye on the dribble and the pass. See, that's why your big men reward them. You want them to keep rebound. Now watch his spin move. As he comes back out, see how he gathered himself up over the top. Now watch the spin here. He almost fall right there, but he recovers and plays the glass. Lynn gets inside, flips it up, and in. Over Bynum after getting past Fisher. Now that's been difficult for him. Lynn looking, finding Billy Walker. Walker on the drive, up and under. Oh, pretty move from Billy Walker. How about the pass? A four-point game, under three and a half, Lynn on the drive, banks it oh, in. Yes. Terrific balance, UB. Beautiful. See, that time, baseline side. Blake is funneling him, thinking that he's going to get help. But then, Jeremy fading back and playing the glass. Deion Bryant gets away. Line drive, in and out. Nowak was late. Lynn to Shumpert. Shumpert there fakes, drives, go. and finishes. There you go. There you go. That's there for this guy. Wide open, but is off the mark. And Jeremy Lynn pulls down his fourth. Shumpert out to Lynn. Lynn fakes, pull up jump shot. Knocks it down. Now, now, 29 for Jeremy Lynn. Timeout Lakers. Give Shumpert a lot of credit. That was including a career high 29 but he's getting help tonight iman shumper the rookie from georgia tech couple of big buckets and then the assist and the next back up by nine crown wants him puts up the two-pointer puts it in oh. jeremy lynn with 31. how about measuring gasol measuring him and leveling gasol off because Gasol did not want him to blow by him off the dribble. Lynn to the basket, out to Walker, Walker for three. Jeffries another rebound. Lynn for three, bang! <laughs> the Jeremy Lynn show continues here at Madison Square Garden. Puts it up, puts it in. Lynn drives in and lays it in. Another standing ovation for Jeremy Lynn. From downtown, and you obviously Laker fans are not happy right now, but this is really an example of why we love sports so much. This unheralded, undrafted. Barnes gets a running start. Inside, knocked away. Lynn on the break. Lynn to Shepard. Shepard lays it in. I like that. That was a great move. Take the defender. Lynn in the clock and understand how far you're out in front. Lynn on the drive. Gets inside. Banks it in. Wow. How about that? How about that? He did not want a screen. He wanted to take his man. Come up on the other side of the ring. What a game here tonight at Madison Square Garden. The phenomenon of Jeremy Lin continues. He's got 36 points. Carmelo Anthony cheer. Lin looking. Foul by oh. Barnes with 3.3 remaining on the 24. Now Lin had no place to go, Mike. And he did not have a passing angle. And now he will go to the free throw line. Unbelievable numbers starting last Saturday. It's all happened in less than a week. And he's hearing the MVP chance. The other factor in all of this, Mike, is that he's shooting over 58%. I mean, that, that's incredible, along with the fact that he's averaging over 25 points. And he is so energized, yes. his teammates, Yubi. Oh, it's great. It's been great for basketball in New York. No doubt about Bryant, triple team, gets it out to Blake. Barnes on the drive, offensive foul, Jeremy Lin draws the charge. Now that was great defensive rotation and the challenging of that shot. That was beautiful to watch. Just keep an eye on the back, look at that. Not only does Lin play offense, he takes that charge and if he wasn't there, Chandler was right there for the block. And the Knicks will win it. Lin's sanity continues here at Madison Square Garden.
as the undrafted point guard from Harvard electrifies MSG once again as the Knicks win their fourth in a row. A career-high 38 points as Kobe Bryant's valiant effort down the stretch comes up short. A nice sportsmanship from the Laker players. One of the more incredible stories we've seen in the NBA in quite some time. Jeremy Lin coming out of nowhere and playing brilliant basketball. Mike, his IQ for the game is off the chart. Plus, he has exceptional court vision, which makes the passing available. Then he has the ability to pass with either hand. throw him into that conversation the impact he's had on his team has been remarkable yeah yeah he hit rubio so both of them getting kudos and will be in the all-star game rubio with the rising stars Lynn inside lobbing to chandler who finishes at the rim so lynn with his first assist his second take a look at the persistence relentless pursuit this time by Lynn and then Chandler, the good ESP to go baseline with the body else. So he's getting uncontested shots. Timberwolves have hit five straight. Lynn inside, able to find Chandler again. Tight space, and Chandler banks it in. Chandler adding a little more every game. Seven of nine here at the start. And have opened up a seven point lead. Fields down the lane, left handed scoop, got it, and is fouled. What a finish by Feet. Timberwolves come in very cranky. Felt like they should have beaten the Mavericks last night. They're down big and then came back. Lynn, tough shot. His first field goal. Could have been a foul. To Nine fields to Jeffries. Outside to Lynn. Crosses over Ridnour and hits. Crowd ooing and hard. Ooh, that's sweet move. He's hit two straight for the Knicks. Yeah, watch this dazzling move right there. A nice crossover. Tantalizing the Knicks. 5% clip. Yeah, the Knicks in the penalty already. 5.30 remaining in the quarter. Chandler on the bench with two. Amon Shumpert has come in. Lynn, tough shot again. Nothing but net. High arching shot. So Lynn has hit three straight, and he's got six. At that time, you saw the fourth. Shumpert, fifth in the league in thefts. Right side, Lynn. Kicks to Novak for the open three. It's good. So five straight. So Tyson Chandler still on the bench with two fouls. Lynn down the paint, sidestepping Love, and he hits the high floater. Second time we've seen that shot. It's a down 10. Timberwolves have scored 10 straight points. Lynn fighting Chandler. Oh, Chandler finishes at the cup in contact. And again, Lynn finding the open man. Chandler along the baseline. Watch him wait. Watch the timing. He sees the double team. Gets it inside. Chandler would not be denied, so he's shooting. Final two minutes. But now his pass off the hands of Williams and taken by Lynn. Lynn a whirling dervish right to the rim, zigzagging to the cup. Only meeting of the season between these two teams. Mix have not fared very well here in Minneapolis. Just 6 and 14 in the last 20. Jeremy Lynn now with 13 points defensively. Here comes Lynch. Good job by Rubio. Reading his mind that time. Shumpert from three. Lynn the rebound. Shot clock resets. Dangerous pass Jeffries takes from his knees. He's shooting, man. He's hot. Lynn knifing through. Right-handed scoop. Got it to go. 15 for Lynn. And the Knicks down two. Sometimes the rising moves of Jay Lynn. Nice double pump off the glass. We got Al with us. It's a long two rebound by Jeremy Lin. Chandler on the. Fields attacking inside and flushes with a right hand. Jeffries misses off glass. Lin the rebound. His fourth tonight. And Fields confident tonight. Finishes at the rim. And he's headed to the free throw line. Chandler and Pekovic have to be. And now to give them a free throw here as Fields continue to drive and thrive. And the foul as well. 
to hurt them, but certainly not from Pekovic. Guy who comes into tonight averaging only 10 and 5. Last night you thought Bynum and Gasol would hurt the Knicks, but they didn't. And now they come here. Hey. Every time the Knicks have gotten close, within one or two, Minnesota has answered. Jumper feeling it, carries the three. With two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Then showing off the handle. Taking Berea, pivoting to the rim, and he banked it in. Can you celebrate? Find out at foxwoods.com right now. Shot clock at seven. Novak, a deep three, buries it from there. Steve Novak brings the Knicks. Jumper with 18 off the bench. Here's Lynn with 12 to shoot. Fields against Correa, puts it in. It's a one-point game. He didn't give that foul. Keep in mind, Amon Shumpert is fouled out. Novak to the tie, sticks it. We are tied at 98. Novak with his fourth triple of the game. Love on a turnaround air ball, and the Knicks have stolen one here in Minneapolis. It's their fifth straight win, their longest of the season. Inexplicably, <laughs> this team continues to thrive, man. Everybody doing what they should do. An off night for Lynn, 8 for 24. Other guys picked up the slack. Shumpert with his... Man, the Linvasion has come to Canada. Missed shot, pushed the tempo, and DeRozan... Glad to do it. Chandler. This is what makes Jeremy Lin special. Really good on the screen and roll. And the Knicks, number two in the league, though, is having a point guard that can run it. And that's been their issue. You know, Raymond Felton probably was the best that they had. And then they have executing that. Chandler. But you need a guy in Mike D'Antoni's system that's got to have the ability to change speeds make good reads, they love to slip it on that high screen, they look to... Carmelo Anthony's been out now four games with the screen right growing. If there's one area of concern, Walker, the leaner, one area of concern. Dwayne Casey, and believe me, I'm sure you'll be hearing that years from now as the Raptors add to the mix and improve the talent level. You know, the other night, he really could take advantage of what they were giving him, and sometimes you want him to do a little bit more offensively. Lynn with a sweet move in the lane. Well, Jose Calderon is accounted for 16 and five in a row. Steve Novak, sharpshooter out of Marquette on the floor. He's made Lynn. 16 threes in his last four games. Look at the difference. You could tell early on Lynn was trying to set up Amari. Amari's out right now, and he's trying to take over. He's got the handle, and then bang, right there. That's what gets him going, is the ability to kind of freeze you and then put it in that next gear. A guy who used to play point guard for Mike D'Antoni. Jeremy Lin, at eight assists, six turnovers against Minnesota, step through for Stoudemire. He was a California Division II Player of the Year, averaged big numbers, but despite that, Nearby Stanford, right across the street from Palo Alto High School, three pointer is good. Said so you can space the floor and utilize screen and roll situations. Win jumper, good. Three of five, six points. He's got six points, six is at the garden. 73 was the last title. Here's Win. Clock at five, four, Lynn, three, good! Lynn with nine points. You know what name I like the best? Jeremy. Amen to that. And He's it tells you how grounded oh, he is. he is, and, and it's funny, you hear him after games, he talks about what a great offensive coach Mike D'Antoni is, very smart. Say good things about your coach, he's the guy that determines your playing time. And he talks all about Jared Jeffries and Novak and their team. 
So he's a point guard. He gets it. And it's like a good quarterback who compliments his offensive line, his running backs, his receivers. You got to see the big picture what makes the whole thing work. And this young man sees that. Raptors 47 33 with the advantage. And you see the numbers for the four starts. I mean, spectacular numbers. He is doing things that, you know, quite frankly, haven't been done before since. Denied by Amir Johnson. Lynn steps by. Shot. Good. It's a two. He allowed to. Now they got to get some of these other guys making a commitment defensively, like Stoudemire and Anthony in particular. Stoudemire on the inside. When he does that, man. For pulling off a trade that benefited the Nuggets greatly. Murray Stoudemire finishes on the inside and a foul eight, on Gray. Eight assists by Jeremy Lin, and Jeremy Lin does a really nice job getting into the heart of the defense. Look at him turn the corner, and he senses Aaron Gray shading him, and he finds the open big man. Good play by Lin and track. Amare Stoudemire. Three, count it, it's Walker. Fourth year out of Kansas State. Stoudemire, clock at seven, here's Lynn. Lynn up top with four. Lynn driving, three stops, and Lynn finishes. 15 points. That wasn't pretty, but he found a way. Donnie Nelson, the president, nice pass there, uh, president GM of the Twist. I haven't heard a lot about Barrett Davis lately, Matt. Oh. Lynn to the rim. One here at the ACC. Sure do. Let's see here in the house. By Lynn as well. Coming on, watch Lynn bang right there on the double team. That was good team defense there. Raptors one to five, five turnovers in the quarter. And Lynn with his 11th assist. And Amari Stoudemire. Carmelo applauding that play. Insanity on Valentine's Day. Dropping dimes. Hook it up. Knicks with a chance to tie. Lynn driving and one. You talk about stage presence and flair for the dramatic. How about this pump fake? And he's taking on Amir Johnson, man, as you mentioned, who's had five blocks. That is big time onions right there. And not only that, he makes the shot under duress. A 10 to 1 run, the last 252, Jack, to tie it up at 87. How about Jeremy Lin there? The great block. Look at this, the pump fake. Then he goes right at the shot blocker. That's, that's a great individual play. By Clock at five. Jumper. Second chance opportunity, Lynn up top. Tied at 87. Lynn with the ball in his hands. Fans on their feet. Five, four, Lynn for the win. Smooth play of the game. 
That's right. Lynn Sanity at the ACC. Talk about a young man with the ice in the veins. Wow. Talk about an incredible second half and you, that fourth quarter with 12 points. Butler fires. And the game ends. New York wins their sixth consecutive. Jeremy Lin with the winning shot. 27 points for Jeremy Lin. What a night at the ACC Sports Center now.